My face, your face, my face, your face, my face, your face, my face, your face. Hello, everybody, the name's John Wing. What? And today, we're gonna be re reviewing Gaia Unicron. Now, I have no idea who that is. Apparently, it's a Japanese toy that been transferred to America and it's pretty old. And no idea what it is. I know Unicron from Transformers Prime, but no idea about this guy, Gaia Unicron. He's like, He's like, as soon as I know him, once he's he's like, BAM! Hello! So, yeah. So, Gaia Unicron is the avatar of Unicron. How do I know that? It's on the box. Anyway, so, he's the avatar of Unicron. That's why he has the Unicron face. As you probably couldn't tell when I did my intro. So, this is Unicron's face, technically. You can actually put it on the actual Unicron. There's an actual Unicron toy. Yes. And you can actually put this on, right? And it makes his head look ten times better because his head was the boxy head, and now you can put it on and make his head look like that. So this is Gaia Unicron's head, but it is also a spaceship. Mm -hmm. It's a very transformical spaceship, not in the sky. It's just transformical. So here's the uh, cockpit thing. Um, here's the little little engine. I'm assuming. Um, it's a transformer, so why does it need wings? Here's his wings, here's his, like his offense, so it's like shing, shing, and then stuff like that. And then down here is like its attack, so it's like weak. So it attacks people, spice and buttons, like Whoosh. so that's what I think it is. Um, Gay Unicorn also includes with a mechon. Now, now, of course, um. It, can, it, it comes with a mechon. This mechon is called Bogu. Bogu? Bogu. So it's technically... Zoom. Focus. So it's technically what I think is a... Like, mole looking thing. So there's a tail. This is the mole nose. This is the mole, like, cap thing. Where that, you know how usually moles they have, like, those... Tunnelers caps? Focus. Camera. Okay. Focus. Oh, there's something new for my iPad. Uh, and this is like the thing. So this is very... Sorry guys, I'm back. And... And... And before that thing was actually my friend texting. texting. He's so annoying. Anyway. So, once again, this is Bogu. I don't remember what I said last time, so don't mind if you... Yeah, whatever. So, so this is Bogu, and he, and he has a very simple transformation. Because to make Bogu attach to Gaia Unicron, you have to transform him. So, to transform him, what you do is you grab his little tail thing, I'm going to call it like that, and you flip it up like that, okay? At the back here, there's this joint. You pull that out and then you take this and put it down so this is technically um what do you call it Bo Bogu's transformation to attach to Gaia Unicron so right here is a, a little nub joint and down here all the way down here there's a little hole for the thing so what you do is you attach it on like like you attach it on like this. So now instead of ramming into them like a bull, did 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 did. Okay, no, I won't sing that song. I don't even know what the lyrics. Is. I don't even know who heard of that song. Could someone please tell me what that song is? Anyway, it rams like a bull and then it, it like stabs him. So it's like. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. That's really it, and I don't really have any other things about Gaia Unicron, as I said, he popped out of nowhere, so I didn't get to know a lot about Gaia Unicron as much as Soundwave or, or, or Super Sentai, actually, I think Soundwave's the only thing I told the story about, anything else was kinda, yeah, so, that's really it, so, so let's transform it already, what you do is you take Bogu out, take Bogu out, throw it away, you take these wings, wings, I'm not sure, and you take these wings and unclip them, 
from the little clips. Now, I will be showing how to transform this back, as one of the steps are so hard, right? It took me 45 minutes to figure out how to actually put it in. So, I'll show you how to transform it back, not at the end, but in another episode, maybe, maybe next week. So, yeah, so... Okay, that's lucky. I thought I heard it for a minute. I'm paranoid now. Okay, so that's really it. Yeah, what are we talking? Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, refilm how to do this, how to transform this again. Um, um, next week. Um, the guy maybe next week. Hopefully next week. Hopefully on the next episode. I on the next time. I'm definitely gonna transform this. The reason why I didn't do a Grimlock because he was really easy to transform, and there's nothing hard about this. This guy is so confusing, right? Right? When I try to transform him, because I usually display him in robot mode, I usually so I had to transform it back, and I need my instructions out, and I never really do. So, yeah, this guy's that hard. So, so um, yeah, this is really that hard, and it's really hard to transform. So, what you do now? And I think I've been blabbering on for two minutes. Hello, you guys asleep? You guys asleep? Because I'm old. I'm really old. No, I'm actually young. You just saw my face at the start of the video, so. Anyway, let's transform this. So, you move your legs up, to, no, you move your wings, right, to here, like this. Move the other side of the wing, uh, wing, turn it like that, okay. Now, this is a really hard bit. If you see down here, there's a joint like this. Hold that joint because there's a swivel ankle right there. And transform it like that. So, you do the same with the other side. Or break it off by accident like I did. Both of them worse, but I prefer. But one breaks. But one will overmend it too much. Take this off. Open that. Open that forward. Plug this out. Uh, plug this out. Pull one of the tabs down, preferably the left one. Uh, pull that up. Pull that up. Right. Plug it together. Leave on the side. Okay. Okay, um, pull, pull the shoulder, uh, pull these parts out. Oh, oh. Now I'm back, and uh, here's the thing. What you do is you fold, fold these things down, turn them out, and then pull these up, all the way up. Not like this. This looks cool and all, but all the way up looks even better. Okay, now what you do is you. Take this out, flip this down like that, pull this back in, and plug that in. Take this out, flip this out, and then plug it back in. Yep. Okay, now you take you, you take this orange piece, fold it in, and and then this is double joint, okay. Pull pull okay, pull this in first. Okay, pull this in all the way. Right, and then turn the chest in. Oh, it's best to have these folded down. Put turn the chest in, okay, until it fits like this. So turn the chest in, pull it down, right, and then turn the chest in somehow, to, like that, and then it just plugs in normally for some reason. Okay, you open this all the way this time. Trust me. Right, okay, is to is to now readjust this. So you want to readjust it so it's up high like this, right? That one is up high. These two um, horns, like two these two horns were up high, okay. And get these little rusty part, right? And use this handle, it, okay. Clip, use this handle up to take it like that. This the other side, just turn it up a little bit. So yeah, and then. See these two pegs? They plug into these the improvised hole. Okay. Now you take this helmet, right, and push it down to review his face, and uh, oh, um, and make sure to pull these all the way up so it looks like this. Okay. Take this one and put it on. Take take the this club. 
I'm not sure what it is. And put it there. And take this, and take Brugo, Brugo, and plug it in right here. So here you go, here is Gaia Unicron, and his, um, oh, this is quite proper, yep, and his, OK Glory. So, this is Gaia Unicron, and sorry if I didn't film this very well, I probably did, but I was too busy looking down. See, usually I look at my camera screen, but usually I just look down here, I usually look down from there, so. I get tempted doing that sometimes, and I'm doing it right now. Ugh, again. So, this is Gaia Unicron, his formal glory. Making it in the splits. His face is pretty cool, it's pretty evil, you know, just the whole Decepticon thing. And he looks pretty nice. I like the gold used in him, his gold are pretty good. The orange parts are really good. Um, the horns are really good. Uh, and. Yeah, his 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 weapons are well. They're modern. He has a giant claw to like pick your nose, and he has this thing to smash you when you're really naughty. Yeah, he's a he's a good Decepticon. No, actually, no. He he uses this to to smash you when you're really nice. So yeah. So this is Gaia Unicorn, and is awesome. I like his gold and all. Gold, awesome. Rate ten out of ten because of gold. So uh, yeah, that's really it. See you in the next episode.